If you are at the bleeding edge of classic gaming, then you've heard of Mister, the open source FPGA based emulation platform based on the fundamental goal of hardware accuracy. Mister already has tons of cores spanning 8 to 32 bit consoles, home computers, arcade games, and more. In this series, I'll feature one FPGA core every day for the next 21 days to ring in the new year. And to start off this New Year's core countdown, we're going to go way back to 1959 with the DEC PDP-1, a mini computer, if you can believe that, famous in hacker culture and a staple at MIT. It cost about $120,000, and it had the first video game ever made, Space War. It's considered the first game. It also had the first word processing program, Expensive Typewriter. And uh, the PDP-1 core is interesting because it really brings home the point that Mr. is not just about the awesome comp later computer cores like Amiga and MSX, or the incredible console cores like Super Nintendo, Genesis, Sega CD, or incredible arcade cores like 1943 and Neo Geo. Uh, Mr. also does these really classic and somewhat obscure computers that you would have to go to a museum to see. And even then, it's a big bulky thing and it might not have the game that you want to play loaded up on it. But with Mr., you have a, an incredibly accurate recreation of these old computers, including the PDP-1, which is the first really uh, mini computer, something uh, that wasn't the size of a house. It could fit in a house and it was used by businesses mostly. I was using uh, academia, defense, that kind of things. Uh, it was A lot of the input was done with um, punch cards and things like that. But it did have Space Wars on it. And this is a really incredible game if you consider that it's the very first. And it's really pretty interesting. It, of course, harks forward to asteroids. And uh, the PDP-1 is a, a really interesting kind of thing. It's an 18-bit computer. It looks kind of, in pictures, you might think it has a vector monitor, but... It actually has something sort of in between a vector monitor and a regular CRT monitor. It's a high resolution screen, a screen that was used in like radar displays. Uh, and it's just a cool core and to have it on Mr. is really interesting. And we even have things that would be hard to do on a real PDP-1. Um, like we can play HR Vox new version of Pong that he wrote specifically for the PDP-1 and the Computer History Museum even tested it out on their uh, actual machine and it worked. And uh, it works in Mr. as well. And we also have the 1972 actual Pong arcade core uh, by Acar on Mr., which is pretty cool. And that's like a cycle accurate um, PCB translation to HT HDL of the actual Pong arcade game. Uh, but this PDP-1 core is really interesting. And um, it's a little quirky, and it plays Space War, Pong, and some demos. And uh, just looking at the demos, it's really um, mesmerizing, and you can get really sucked into them. This is a core where, even if you're not playing it specifically to enjoy the glorious Space War game, uh, it's really interesting to see. I've been curious about this game ever since I heard of it, and I've never come across a real PDP-1 in person, so this was my first uh, chance to have it, uh, to play the game. And uh, it's just nice to have it in a kind of nearly cycle accurate form on the Mister. So the PDP-1 core by HR Vak is the first in our New Year's countdown. What will be next? Stay tuned to find out. This video represents a snapshot of the core as it exists today, but by the time you're watching this in the future, it may have been improved or expanded with new features. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the latest Mr. Happenings, and ring the bell to be notified when I go live for a stream. If you like the channel, consider supporting it. Patreon support at any level gets you an instant invite to the Smoke Monster Elite Discord and early access to my videos. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it.